In 2008, USS Lake Erie CG-70 once again demonstrated that the sea-based element of the ballistic missile defense system, Aegis BMD, delivers from the highest Aegis BMD target intercepted in outer space to the lowest altitude ballistic missile target terminal engagement in the endo-atmosphere achieved in FTM-14 Stellar Scorpion. Event one of the three-event FTM-14 Stellar Scorpion campaign included the first line fire near-term sea-based terminal or NTSBT engagement against a scud-like short-range ballistic missile target. Also a first for FTM-14 is the Aegis BMD-361 combat system configuration, successfully verified during an engineering assessment at the Combat Systems Engineering Development Site in early April. The Aegis BMD-361 combat system configuration increases performance by adding an important engagement capability against a ballistic missile threat in its terminal trajectory. A sea-based mobile launch platform fired the short-range ballistic missile target on a no-notice launch. Lake Erie and ship's force detected and tracked the scud-like target. Fireball, 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 track 80325, track is ballistic. Auto engagement order track number 80325. All stations cabin fitness green. Aegis BMD-361 weapon system in auto mode fired two modified SM-2 Block 4 missiles with live blast fragmenting warheads, lethally intercepting the scud-like short-range ballistic missile target. This was an important test in demonstrating near-term sea-based terminal short-range capabilities for Aegis BMD ships. For Event 2, Lake Erie's Aegis BMD-361 weapon system successfully conducted simulated simultaneous engagements against two ARAV-B medium-range separating targets, preparing for a future live fire test. Also participating with Lake Erie during FTM-14 were ground-based X-band Army radars on PMRF, including a THAAD system which received a cue from Lake Erie during Event 2 demonstrating BMDS interoperability. The third event, an undersea warfare exercise, tested firing ships integrated anti-submarine warfare performance using its Aegis BMD-361 combat system. Lake Erie engaged a Mark 30 Mod 2 anti-submarine warfare training target system with a Mark 46 exercise torpedo, showing that the Aegis BMD combat system has retained its ASW multi-mission capability. The successful results of FTM-14 prove the increasing performance of the sea-based element of BMDS. Now adding near-term sea-based terminal engagements to assist combatant commanders with their need to combat regional ballistic missile threats. The best thing I can say about this system is that now the combatant commanders have a capability with Aegis in the near-term sea-based terminal that we didn't have before. Combined with our Aegis ballistic missile defense in the mid-course, we have a capability that our nation and our Navy can take to the combatant commander and effectively use immediately for the rising threats that we are now experiencing from the heights of outer space to the underwater depths of the sea. On patrol, defending the fleet, deployed forces, our allies, and the nation. Aegis BMD. USS Lake Erie CG-70 transits off Hawaii in June 2008, seven months since its last successful ballistic missile live fire flight test and only four months since intercepting the errant satellite. Now, the U.S. Navy, the Missile Defense Agency, and government industry team prepare for their next test, FTM-14 Stellar Scorpion. Lake Erie's new commanding officer, along with his officers and crew, are on high alert. They continue operating under the realistic threat scenario mapped to potential real-world operating areas. In a series of BMD firsts, 
Lake Erie is waiting to conduct a near-term sea-based terminal, or NTSBT, short-range engagement by using the recently assessed Aegis BMD-361 weapon system configuration and by firing modified SM-2 Block 4 missiles with live blast fragmenting warheads. Located on PMRF and operating independently from Lake Erie are two ground-based X-band Army radars that will participate by searching and tracking the target, demonstrating another important BMDS element's capability. The target, a Scud-like short-range ballistic missile, will be launched for the first time from a mobile launch platform, or MLP, at sea. Its flight is lower in altitude and shorter in time than in previous tests. The engagement will occur during the target's terminal flight phase in the endo-atmosphere. FTM-14 is an important test in demonstrating Aegis BMD-361 capabilities in Aegis BMD ships, the near-term sea-based terminal engagement of ballistic missiles. The MLP on the Pacific Missile Range prepares to fire its Scud-like short-range ballistic missile target toward friendly country, Green. Receiving intelligence, Lake Erie uses Mission Planner to set up Aegis Spy-1 radar search sectors for ballistic missile target detection. Lake Erie, with officers and operators at their battle stations, gets no notice of the target launch. With the short flight time of the ballistic missile target, the reaction time to fire the dual SM-2 Block 4 missile salvo is substantially reduced. Lake Erie operators configure the Aegis BMD-361 weapon system to auto-engage the target with firing authorization bypass enabled. In this mode, Aegis BMD will detect, track, and finally fire its SM-2 missiles automatically without manual operator initiation. As the Scud-like short-range ballistic missile target climbs through the atmosphere into space, it is detected and tracked by the SPY-1 radar on Lake Erie. Fireball, 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 track 80325, track is ballistic. The track is declared an engageable ballistic missile target. Two target clear to fire. Aegis BMD-361 then computes a fire control solution to fire a salvo of two SM-2 Block 4 missiles against the target. Auto engagement order track number 80325. All stations captain, phase is green. Kill track 80325 with birds. In quick succession, the missiles launch from Lake Erie's vertical launching system. During their flight, the modified SM-2 Block 4 missiles receive acceleration commands from Aegis BMD mid-course guidance, directing them to intercept the ballistic missile target. Armed with a blast fragmentation fuse warhead, each of the modified SM-2 Block 4 missiles detonate their warhead as they reach their target. Lethal intercept achieved. The target is destroyed. Aegis BMD's 13th successful intercept of ballistic missile targets. Its first successful live test of Aegis BMD-361 NTSBT capability. Another important achievement for the entire Navy, MDA, and Aegis BMD team. Test data collected by optical sensors and radar systems observing FTM-14 will be studied and analyzed for this first NTSBT intercept. Using live satellite data link transmission, the Navy, MDA, Aegis, BMD team witnessed the intercept of FTM-14 Stellar Scorpion. FTM-14 success demonstrates the increasing capabilities and performance of Aegis BMD. Now adding near-term sea-based terminal engagements to assist combatant commanders with their need to combat regional ballistic missile threats. The best thing I can say about this system is that now the combatant commanders have a capability with Aegis in the near-term sea-based terminal that we didn't have before. Combined with our Aegis ballistic missile defense in the mid-course, we have a capability that our nation and our Navy can take to the combatant commander and effectively use immediately for rising threats that we are now experiencing. 
from the highest Aegis BMD target intercepted in outer space to the lowest altitude NTSBT ballistic missile target engagement achieved in FTM-14, Aegis BMD delivered.